Hello everybody, Star Irk here, and on February 9th, the 92nd Oscar ceremony will be happening, so I've made some custom minifigures based on the movies nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. Let's get started. You're not a Nazi, Jojo. You're a ten-year-old kid. First up here is Jojo from Jojo Rabbit. His hat is an Imperial Officer's from Star Wars Rebels, and his head is Tim's from Jurassic Park. That torso is Neville Longbottom's from the Harry Potter CMF series, but with Peter Venkman's arms to represent the patches he has on in the movie. I know that's not actually the patches he has on in the movie, but it represents them well. He also has a black scarf piece and short dark brown legs. In this town, I can all change. Not that. Hey! You're Rick Dalton. Don't you forget it. Next up are Rick Dalton and Cliff Booth from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I've actually made them before on my channel, so if you want to hear the pieces I used for them, go check out that video. I made it over the summer, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. I did make one change though. Instead of using Krennic's hair for Rick Dalton, I used Birthday Party Boy's hair from CMF Series 18 in that dark flesh color, which is exclusive to the Build Your Own minifigure at the Lego store. Eventually, it'll be the two of you having to figure this out. Together. Here are Nicole and Charlie from Marriage Story. Nicole's hair is Flashback Garmadons and her head is Black Widows from Civil War since both characters are played by Scarlett Johansson. Her torso is the mom's from Fun at the Park but with tan hands and she just has light blue legs. Charlie's hair and head are Kylo Ren's since Adam Driver plays both characters. His torso is Han Solo's when he's stuck in Carbonite and then his legs are just black ones. Do you think you can beat Ferrari? I can try. We're lighter, we're faster. And that don't work, we're nastier. We're gonna make history. Here's Carl Shelby and Ken Miles from Ford vs. Ferrari. Carl, or Carol's, I don't know how to pronounce it. His hair is Agent Coulson's, and his head is a Jewel Thief's from an old Spider-Man 2 set. And the torso is Peter Parker's, also from a Spider-Man 2 set. And then the legs are just dark gray ones. Ken's helmet is Bad Cops, and his head is Peter Venkman's. The torso and legs are Mizrani's from Jurassic World, both tan hands. <laughs> Next up is Kim Ki Taik from Parasite. I know I definitely didn't pronounce that right. His hair is just the new Superman hair piece, and the head is actually Batman's from the Lego Batman movie, but I used an eraser to remove the eyes so I could capture the imagery from the poster. That torso is from an Easter egg hunt set from a few years ago with tan hands, and he just has black legs. It's gonna happen. Either way, he's going. Here's Frank Sheeran from The Irishman. His hair is Doctor Who's from Lego Dimensions, and his head is Wheatley's from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And then his torso and legs are Happy Hogan's from Far From Home. Next here is Jo March from Little Women. Her hair is Elsa's from the new Frozen 2 sets, and her head is Alice's from the first Disney CMF series. That torso is Tina Goldstein's from the Harry Potter CMF series, and the legs are just dark blue ones with Eleven's skirt from Stranger Things. from 1917. His hat is the old beanie piece in gray, and his head is Cedric Diggory's from the Harry Potter CMF series. 
The torso is a Toy Story army man's with tan hands, and his legs are Kashyyyk troopers. He also has Zane's backpack piece from the Lego Ninjaga movie CMF series. Uh, Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Last but not least is the Joker. He's using Beetlejuice's hair and Joker's henchman's face from the Joker steamroller set. His torso is Bilbo Baggins and his legs are just dark red ones. I know this isn't the most original minifigure, I've seen people use these pieces a lot, but they're the best pieces to use for him. You could use Terry Top's head from a new hidden side set, but I couldn't get a hold of one, so I just went with what I had. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know down below if you're going to be watching the Oscars. I know I will. Anyway, see you next time.